Ahead of Russian President Putin's visit to New Delhi in July, latest reports indicate that India's request to jointly develop the BrahMos 2K hypersonic cruise missile with a liquid fuel scramjet motor derived from the second stage of Russia's Zircon hypersonic cruise missile, might see a Russian approval in the coming days. The Zircon hypersonic missile has a range of 1,000 km and a speed of Mach 9. However, the BrahMos 2K missile will be modified to reach speeds of Mach 6, in order to increase its range to 1,500 km. India will develop the booster stage with solid fuel engines, along with a winged airframe and an ASA band seeker, as India is well aware of the high cost of developing hypersonic missiles, and wants to limit Russia's collaboration in the program to the second stage liquid fuel scramjet motor. The motor will kick in after the missile reaches supersonic speeds in the first stage, accelerating the missile into the hypersonic flight regime. A team of BrahMos Aerospace has estimated that the development of Indian-specific systems for the BrahMos 2K will take approximately 7 to 8 years, and will enter production in 2032. The Russian Su-57 Felon stealth fighter will be capable of dispatching and controlling four S-70 unmanned combat aerial vehicles up to a distance of 1,500 km, which will allow the Su-57 to strike deep into enemy territory, while remaining in a safe zone from actual combat operations. Russia has developed a new communication system for the Su-57 based on artificial intelligence, that will take place at very high frequencies, and it will code the data transfer between the participants of the battle group, as well as allow compatibility with the communication systems of ground platforms and headquarters, that will turn the Su-57 from a combat platform into a main base for coordinating military operations. The 4S-70 UCAF at a distance of up to 1,500 km will give much more precise advance awareness to Su-57, and also to artillery and reconnaissance units on the ground. A team of researchers from the Indian Institute of Technology Madras and the DRDO have collaborated to develop a piezoelectric microelectromechanical system technology sensor for underwater communications, with potential benefits for naval applications, and will support development of next-generation sonar for the Indian Navy. The technology has reached maturity, that allows for its conversion into a system with the help of Indian industry. The piezoelectric microelectromechanical system technology is used to create high-performance thin films, that can be used to build sophisticated and futuristic naval sensors, that can be used to detect sound waves or vibrations in water, allowing for underwater communication and surveillance. The DRDO is set to conduct a test of a submarine launched via guided heavyweight torpedo in the coming days, that has a range of over 20 kilometers, and is capable of targeting both enemy submarines and surface ships. It is designed to be launched from submarine's torpedo tube, and can be guided by wire, that allows for greater accuracy and control. The test will be conducted from a submerged pontoon at the Naval Science and Technological Laboratory, and it will be closely monitored by the Indian Navy. During a meeting with the Israeli delegation led by Israeli Foreign Minister Eli Cohen, Defense Minister Rajnath Singh has asked Israel to step up investments and joint ventures by its defense companies for co-production of weapon systems under the Make in India policy. The Israeli minister affirmed continued cooperation of Israel in India's endeavor for indigenization, and expressed willingness to cooperate and partner in advanced technologies.